One of my favorite places in Southwest Florida, the Crow Clinic has come in for a landing right here to help make your mornings a little more comfortable with details on their Southern Comfort uh, on Sanibel. Here with the details is Kenny Howell and Rachel Rainboat, both from the Clinic for the Rehabilitation of Wildlife, a.k.a. Crow, as we know it. Good morning, Good Rachel. Morning. Kenny, great Good to morning. see you. Thank great you to have you back. And you brought some friends with you who I'm excited to introduce our viewers to in just a minute. But they came from the Crow, so kind of from Crow. So kind of give us the background on, on where these guys came from. Well, in general, not all of the animals that come into our facility are able to be released. Now, in hopes, we get as many of these animals back out into the wild, mm -hmm. but occasionally we run across that post-recovery, they can't take care of themselves, so we instead give them a home where they can educate thousands of people a year about what we do and all the good work that crows yes, involved in. Yes, we have in. been out there. We absolutely love what you guys can do. So how do, they, how do these animals become animal ambassadors, Kenny? Well, a lot, of, a lot of these animals are injured and they cannot be re-released, so we use them that crow to educate the public. Okay. Very and when good. people come and visit us during presentations, they get to see and meet Lola and Nana. So how many, you know, if somebody is watching and they haven't uh, had a chance to make a trip out to Crow, what right. can they expect? How many animals do you have there? I mean, are, are, are there any animals that they can get pretty up close with? And Well, most of the animals that come into our hospital, they are patients, and so we don't necessarily put them on display, but we do have different on-site uh, specialty programs where they can get guided views of some of the hospital and treatment areas and see our doctors mm -hmm. in action. And otherwise, if they come there, they can interact with our exhibits in the center and meet with some of our ambassadors. And uh, the ones that you brought with us today have some very cute names. Who, are, who do you have here? I have Lola. She's a Marinic, an American kestrel, one of the smallest falcons in North America. And she has an injured wing, so Aww. she can take off, but she can't maintain flight. And Kenny has Nana, who's a yellow rat snake. She actually wasn't injured, but she is a captive bred snake mm -hmm. utilized for educational programming. Uh, we like using snakes because there are a bunch of stigmas regarding them and it kind of gets people in contact with them showing them that they're not, not, not as scary. scary. <laughs> <laughs> well you have this uh, really fun uh, event coming up. Tell us a little bit about, the, the, give us the comfortable details on Sanibel Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort on Sanibel will be happening on Saturday, April 2nd mm -hmm. at the Sanibel Community House from 6 to 9. And it's one of our annual fundraisers. I'm going to have fun games, raffle, silent auction. And um, tickets are $55 in advance, and they can be purchased on our website mm -hmm. or by calling us. And tickets are available also the night of the event at the community house for $65. And this is going to be kind of uh, mouth-watering comfort food, which is kind of uh, in tune with the yes, name there. So it sounds like so much fun. What of kind of food? food. What kind of food Southern are we at? Chicken. Ooh, you name it. That's yes. all you got to say. You had me at <laughs> yes. chicken. Penny. And we'll have dancing, so after you have the southern food, you can burn it off with some dancing. I love it. I love it. And this is actually the second year of this yep, event. Second so it was so one. much fun last year. You guys are bringing it back again. Yeah, and the great thing is it's just from 6 to 9, so people can come out a little bit earlier mm -hmm. and enjoy Santa Bell, walk around, do I some shopping, come to the event. Ends at 9, so you can stay around and enjoy some of the Santa Bell nightlife. In just a couple of seconds, I know you guys are always looking for volunteers. How can they volunteer, Rachel, and Absolutely. get involved? Um, if they're here for at least three months out of the year, they can contact our volunteer coordinator via email or phone call, come out for an orientation, we'll show them around, and then afterwards we'll stick them on a shift with some of our senior volunteers so they can get learn the ropes and get more comfortable with patient care. Can't wait. Thank you guys so much. For more information, contact Crow, and uh, we hope to see you guys out at the festival. It's going to be so much fun. And again, thank you, Lola and Nana. <laughs> you guys did great. All right, up next, we once again chat with artist Marcus Jansen, this time about another project near and dear to his heart. It's a documentary about him called Examine and Report. We tell you when and where you can see it after the break.